Today, I'm going to talk about when I take my hearing aids out or turn them off. Hello, my name is Emily. I created Definite Hearing as a way to increase awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. I'm hard of hearing myself. I wear two hearing aids and I love them so, 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 so much. Believe it or not, I have a moderate to severe hearing loss. This means like I can't start hearing until the sound of a vacuum cleaner. The next time you're in a body of water, submerge your head. That is about what sound sounds like to me with my hearing aids out. So as you can see, Hearing aids do so much for me and I am such a fan of them. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if I do, I'm going to kind of share my golden rule for wearing my hearing aids. This will be good for anyone who's new to wearing hearing aids or a parent of a child that wears hearing aids or hearing devices. All right, let's talk about these places or circumstances in which I turn my hearing aids off or take them out. Number one when I go to bed. No, I do not sleep with my hearing aids in. It is extremely uncomfortable, not to mention the amount of feedback that would come from putting my head against a pillow with a hearing aid in. I have fallen asleep with my hearing aids in before and it's just hard to fall asleep. It's easier to wake up. The feedback against the pillow, especially if it's my right ear, is just annoying. Not to mention that my husband would probably be bothered by the feedback too. <laughs> and it's just painful, like smooshing your ear, your soft cartilage against something that's hard and not meant to like move. It's just painful. Imagine if you're a hearing person, imagine sleeping with your earbuds in. It's not comfortable. So I take my hearing aids out when I sleep. Now that opens the door to so many questions, right? Like how do you wake up? What if the fire alarm goes off and you don't know? What if someone tries to call you and they need your help? Well, great questions. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of different fixes for that, but we'll save that for another video. All right, place or location number two is water. Think bodies of water, whether that's a pool, a lake, the shower, the bathtub, and the ocean. I just like to take my hearing aids out whenever I am approaching a body of water. I have dove into a pool before. I wanna say it totally ruined my hearing aids, but I actually didn't. I jumped in. I had radio static just screaming in my ears. I jumped right out, dabbed them with a towel, took them home, put them in my dry aid kit, and they were fine. They were loners, and thankfully, they were okay. <laughs> I would not recommend that. Hearing aids have pretty good IP or water protection like settings, but they are not meant to be around water at all. Let's talk about the hot tub though. Sometimes when I'm in the hot tub, I leave my hearing aids in. It definitely depends on my mood and how I'm feeling and who I'm with. If I am with super mischievous people that like to play around and splash and dunk people, there is no way I'm taking my hearing aids in. And also, I will only go in a hot tub if I'm with people that I know we're just going to be sitting and talking and I'm going to be keeping my shoulders and everything else above the water. Number three, I keep my hearing aids out when I am styling my hair. So usually after a shower, my hair is wet, dripping wet, and I avoid putting my hearing aids in because that water, those droplets can damage my hearing aids. In addition to that, extreme heat from blow drying and appliances like curlers can also ruin the hearing aids. Not only that, but also hairsprays and hair products. So from the time I get out of the shower till the time that my hair is completely styled, I keep my hearing aids out. Number four, I like to turn off my hearing aids when I come in contact with loud sounds. This could be a fire alarm. I'm grateful I can get out now that I know what's going off. Usually they flash. In school, I would always turn my hearing aids off during fire drills and just follow the line of people. And also with motorcycles. Do motorcycles drive you crazy? If so, I wanna hear in the comments below. Motorcycle sounds drive me crazy. They are so loud and like they, they're they such a nuisance. Why are they so loud? Like I know they're loud because it's a small engine and all the combustion and everything, but I feel like we should put some mufflers on them or like something. But every time a motorcycle drives by, I'm just like, that is not good for your hearing and it's not good for mine. We should figure something out. So. Anyway, little rant. And last but not least, I turn my hearing aids off and add on ear protection when I am in loud environments, such as when I'm mowing the lawn. It is really important to remember that even if someone is hard of hearing or as a hard of hearing person, that you should protect your residual hearing. And that can often be done with earplugs. All right, so those are the majority, I like all the ones I can think of, of the places or times that I turn my hearing aids off and or take them out. It still blows my mind though, I just wanna add, that we pay thousands of dollars 
$100 for these devices and there is no on off button. Why is that? I have no idea. My first instinct was like, because if you open the battery door, maybe it stops the battery from being used, but that's actually false because the majority of replaceable hearing aid batteries are activated by air. So it would only make sense that it would be more used up when the battery door is open. So I really hope that a hearing aid manufacturer is listening to this and decides to install an on off button. I would like to know if that would increase the longevity of my hearing aid batteries. If you happen to know the answer to that question, I would love to hear in the comments below. All right, so thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Here is just like a little rule of thumb of when I wear my hearing aids. And this will be helpful for people who are new to wearing hearing aids and also parents of children with hearing aids. I wear my hearing aids during all waking hours, unless I'm wet. That's my rule. I wear them all the time unless I'm wet. And the reason for this is because my parents worked so hard when I was young to keep my hearing aids in all the time because my brain needed that stimulation and that processing. When I'm hearing sounds, whether I'm conscious of it or not, my brain is processing and constantly working and I wanna make sure that I keep my brain in tip top shape. Studies have shown that people who have hearing and don't eat it are more susceptible to Alzheimer's and dementia. And so I'm already kind of like susceptible to that and I want to keep my hearing aids in as much as possible. Some parents will think like, oh, if I leave my child's hearing aids in all day, I'll ruin their residual hearing, or I feel bad for him that he has to hear all the time. Those are like kind of false notions because one, if your child was hearing, they would be hearing all the time. You would never feel bad for your hearing child that they were hearing all the time. So why would you feel bad for your hard of hearing child if they're hearing all the time? You shouldn't. Whenever they're not wearing their hearing aids, they're missing out. You don't want them to miss out. You are their advocate. You need to have their hearing aids in. Let them hear please. In addition to that, I want to point out that listening fatigue, hearing fatigue is real, but the only way to overcome that is to just push through it. No pain, no gain. So if you are having a hard day and you're like, I just need a break, take a break, but don't make it a habit, especially if you're new to hearing aids, just know that you might have to work your way up to wearing them all day. That's normal, but definitely get in the habit of wearing them. And really once you do that, you'll learn to love them and embrace them, but it does take practice. It usually takes about three to six weeks to get used to hearing aids. It takes me three to six weeks to get used to my new hearing aids when I get them. So definitely know that as well. Those struggles are real and you are not alone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great videos for you. Have a great day. Bye.